Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series. Today's episode, we are focusing on learning, implementing and mastering routing in ExpressJS applications. This is the part 7 of the tutorial playlist. If you have missed out on previous episodes, I request you to kindly check them out. Alright, so let's talk about routing. What is a route? A route is a section of Express code that associates to a HTTP method, which will have a function that is called to handle that particular pattern, right? So it means it has two, two parts. A route has two parts. One, the association with the HTTP verb. Second is a function which will handle that particular processing or logic. We'll see that in action in just a bit. Let me explain you a little bit more. In your Express.js, we can ha we define it by saying app.method. Method is nothing but here your HTTP method like post, get, put, delete, right? We can configure any number of routes in our application. It can be one or more. We can configure routes with any HTTP method any number of times. Now, let's learn how to create them, right? So you see, this is a simple way of creating simple routes. App.post, app.get, app.put, app.delete, right? So let's go ahead. I will show you both. And then I, at the end, I will show you what the problem is with this approach and how to fix it. All right, so let's start with coding session first. So I told you, let's create a route, right? So I said, we'll, we created an instance of Express application here, app. And now I'm saying app dot. You can see here all the HTTP methods come up. So let's start with get. And we are saying get, say read. So we are saying read users, right? So whenever um, the user will hit um, say slash read users, a function will be called and that lets it will have two parameters request and response use arrow function. And this is how we define the route or not console. We'll say response dot send, which is nothing but output to give from the API, right? So here instead we'll give some better meaningful right? list of users, right? Let's test it out first and then we will add more, right? So I'm going to my postman tool and here I will open new and I will say HTTP localhost. Oh, we did not run the application. So let's do that. Just say node, the file name and it's running. So here you'll say localhost 4000 slash read users, right? So it's giving the output as list of users, right? Now this output can be anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, we can define a simple uh, variable that you want to use and say user object, right? Which would have some details like ID, let's say 10 and say name. I'm going to say arc, let's say last name, tutorials, status, I'm going to say true. That means active, right? So it's just a user object, right? So we are going to say one more. Uh, let's create one more uh, in route. So you see here, um, I can create read user. Now I'm saying get details, get user details, right? And what we'll do, we'll remove it here. Keep it simple. And here we'll return that object, right? So we'll say user object. So I have now two routes. One is read users, read all users. And this is get user details, right? So this is this will return only single user. This will return multiple users, let's say. Let's start it again. Go to your postman and say read users. Now there is no read users, right? We'll fix this also, don't worry. Read all users. Uh, okay, read all users, enter. It says list of users. Now you say get user details and it should give us that object. So see, now it's giving the user object, right? So these are two simple routes that we configured using get, right? So now let's say, since we are building, we will be building for a e-commerce application, right? We are building a backend for our e-commerce application. E-commerce application now. So this is a complex application, right? Which will have multiple modules like users, products, items, reviews, comments, gallery, 
which is nothing but images right or you can say images video whatever we want we can add them here images videos returns etc etc right and it the list goes on see right so it's an e-commerce application it will be fairly complex now the I, the reason i'm typing all this is because think that now for all of this you will have crud operations we learned that in previous episode right for all of these above modules you will have crud operations so first i'm giving you crud for user right so let's see that how it looks so let's just copy this for now example right again this is just example we will modify in the coming episodes so app dot post let's say create user right then i'm going to say app dot put that is for edit right so you can say app dot put update user then i'm going to at the end i'm going to say app dot delete right delete user see how messy the code is already right it's already becoming so messy now let's copy this now paste again here now this time for since it's a e-commerce application for products so here we are saying create product update product read all products read top products get product details etc etc right so you see this is getting already hairy and messy right our application we did not even we did not start coding and it's messy already right so it's messy already so this is bad right why because we cannot maintain this code this code now if you are working if you are working in large teams god god help you god help you okay um, and god forbid if you are in offshore uh, then switch company or just <laughs> right switch company or product so the idea is it becomes very messy if you are doing like this code so the idea the what is the what is the solution right and what's the solution so the solution is to design our routes using router what it helps us in in modular approach of routes and easy maintenance right maintain of code um, easy to fix bugs right extend code develop easily in large teams right etc so there are so we have to use a modular approach to fix the routing issue okay that's what we are going to learn in the next episode so now you know what the problems are with this approach so we'll be using router in the next episode to fix these issues and make our application again beautiful easy maintainable and above all secured and strong i hope you are enjoying this journey with me on express js if you have any comments feedback please drop them in the comment section thank you so much i'll see you in the next episode